I'm reviewing East Scene Solar Powered Hiking Day Pack. This is with 3.25 watts with a solar charger. So this is very easy to keep with you in the vehicle or if you're traveling with your luggage. It comes in this little pouch right here. The solar panel itself is actually detachable so you can carry it with you if you just need this. You open it up and that is your solar power. Back here is where you are going to hook your electronic device. There's a USB port that's located down here. It comes with a USB dual cable. So you're actually able to use this if you have any um, 9 volts or 5 volts that you need charged. and. You can plug it here and this works with the USB and you have a micro USB that comes with it as well. If you need a lightning cable, uh, you will need to bring it. If you have a GoPro or any kind of action camera, uh, normally it's something that you would bring on a camping hiking trip and you are able to charge it. You're going to flip it over to the side. And if you just heard, my camera just came on. And it's showing here that it is charging. Got my iPhone, got the lightning cable in. I'm gonna plug the other end into the USB of the solar panel. And as you heard, it came on automatically. As you can see in the top right hand corner, it is charging. Now I'm going to go to a very shaded area compared to that one. And here's my solar panel and my iPhone that I'm going to plug in. And it is charging. Now I'm going to let the solar panel charge some energy while I demonstrate the backpack itself. So again, this pocket right here, um, it's used for the solar panel and they had your, uh, your charging cables in here. You literally just pull it out. The pocket that was in the front is now your mid pocket. That is now in the front of the backpack. And so now you have different little pocket areas. My favorite thing about a hiking backpack, and it's something that I specifically look for, is the ability to adjust where you put your bottled water because there's so many different sizes, especially if you carry those um, canteens. And of course, you don't want it to fall out as you're moving around. So there's an adjustable one here and there. These are to hook your carabiners for your solar panel on. So now you have a pocket here. I like pockets in the front because it's easy access for my cell phone and I can hear it better. You have straps in the back. Now it has a very light padding, um, which makes it more of a day pack. You have your strap here that you can buckle to help with the weight. And your large compartment. Uh, they have a pocket here. It is not padded, um, but it's to put your tablet or your laptop or whatever you want here to kind of keep it close to you so it's not banging back and forth. It's a standard size backpack, so you have all that extra room. 
They supply you three carabiners. And of course the carabiners are to keep the solar panel open and attached to your book sack so it can sit there and store energy as you're moving. You put one here with the little loop. There's two loops that are on the side and these can connect to the adjustable strap for your water bottles. So I've had this charging maybe 20 minutes or so. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna plug my iPhone back in and I'm gonna close this up completely so it doesn't have any access to sunlight and we're gonna see if it still charges and how long it will. My phone. So my phone is at 79%. Plug it in, it is charging, close this up, Let's make sure it's still charging, it is still charging, and it was 11.06, oh, now it's 11.07, we'll say 11.07, still charging. Still closed. It's 11.30, it's still charging. And there we go. And it's at 95%. So in almost 20 minutes, is at 95%, it's still charging my iPhone. This is a 5S, and it has been closed the whole time. So I'm gonna stop right there, as it is still charging. We started at 11.06, 11.07, and so it's almost, I would say it takes about a half hour for it to go 20% and that is completely closed. And this was only open for maybe 20 minutes. So that's actually pretty good. So your overall pros and cons. This is very portable and um, saves space when you, when you tuck it back into the pouch. The solar panel works pretty well with small devices. It's detachable, so you can take it with you. Um, this has, I mean, it's basically no padding. I would use this if you're going to school and maybe a field trip, theme park. If you're really hiking, I wouldn't recommend it simply because you are carrying a lot more, so it's gonna be added weight. And even with this strap, there's really no padding here so I think that eventually it'll get a little heavy the stitching is good so even with a lot of books or your equipment it does hold it's got a lot of pockets if you are a female this may be uncomfortable for you uh, simply because of where the strap attaches if you have a larger bra cup size it's it doesn't it's not at the right height shall I say overall it's pretty good the solar panel I have been using for seven days now and I haven't had an issue with it if anything changes I will revise this video. I am very good about that. I hope that this gives you a better idea of their product. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.